Hi guys, this is George, and in this video, I'm going to be talking about Ecotech's awesome controllable wave maker MP10WES pumps in nano reefs. The MP10WES is really easy to set up. Um, everything they give you included is super easy to follow, and it's, it seems a little bit more complicated than it is, but just in case, I'll show you how to install it in, right now in the beginning of this video. Stay tuned though because I'm going to be doing the review and what they're like to have in a nano reef. Setup is pretty self-explanatory. I'd pull everything out of the box and be pretty gentle with it. Um, it's just all mechanical stuff and stuff to set it up with. And you get the Ecotech driver which is going to control your pump. And then you have the pump and this little extra piece is for um, putting it in between those two parts. If your glass isn't thick enough, it's a certain thickness, um, and you just you kind of like stick it on the side where you want to put the, the pump, and then this is gonna hold the cord, and you pull the orange uh, sticker off to make it sticky, and you put that uh, directly above that padding. This is where the cord is gonna run up to. Then you just take the outside part of it and. You, this is kind of the tricky part. You gotta kind of hold it um, while you zip tie the uh, cord to that runs to the top of it through um, the hole with the security. Like I said, it's a little tricky, but after playing with it for a little bit, eventually you're gonna get it and you're gonna be able to secure it. So then you can put in the water part, the part that goes on the inside of your tank, obviously. Um, and connect it to um, magnetically to the outside part and then I just readjust it. You're not going to get it on your first try. And then you plug in the console. And then you are basically just going to connect the rest of the parts. So you connect this part, you're going to see a light, and then you connect this end to the actual controller, and boom, you are going to be in business. They are controllable with the EcoSmart driver. This is just the normal setting, by raising the, the dots, it's going to put out more flow, causing a lot of destruction if you make it too high on a nano reef. Um, so it's important that these things can do wonders for your tank. They can clean your tank and with the different settings blow up detritus from the bottom and they can keep de detritus off of rocks. But if, if, you, if you full throttle these babies, uh, it, it, it's going to blow over some stuff in your tank. So just make sure that you, you have them on the right setting. These pumps are really cool and what you can do with them is incredible. Um, in about a 30 gallon tank or anything less than a 30 gallon, if you get one of these, you're gonna have to keep it on the lower, almost lowest setting, um, unless you're you know, trying to clean the tank. I'm so happy to have one, um, finally getting one. I've always wanted one. Um, and now that I finally have one, it's, it's incredible. It's just, it, it literally doesn't make much of, an, of a sound and it takes up absolutely no room in your aquarium um, while doing so much for it. If you are a serious reef keeper, uh, this is gonna be a must have product for you. These things are awesome, very powerful, very efficient, and a must have if you really wanna have success in smaller nano tanks. I'm off staring at my tank again. Uh, like always, if you have any questions about wave makers or pumps, let me know and click that subscribe button. Thanks for watching. George out. Good.